Ladies and gentlemen, this is South Africa. We are black people. We are majority. Have we gotten a raw deal? Most of us feel that way, but yeah. we can't say that if we're not stepping up, you know, uh, we need to play our part. But the one thing that we need to understand, and I'll say it here again, if we think we're going to develop this country without white people, it's not going to happen. Yeah. Without Indian people, it's not going to happen. Without colored people, it's not going to happen. This has to be a joint effort. Mm. 6th of July, 2023. This is another warafak moment. And yes, it's a serious warafak moment. And this one ties in with the one that I did yesterday on Zuma is under attack. And the whole issue around the Zulus and the Afrikaners is a massive topic. And it is something that very few people really take note of the reality of that generational relationship. So the title of this one is The Zulus and the Bura. There's a long and well-documented relationship between these two ethnic groups and it is also the two ethnic groups with the best documented cultural heritage and history. Think about that. Many hated Zuma for reigniting tribalism in South Africa and I myself was quite intrigued by it because Mandela planted the Rainbow Nation idea in South Africa and apart from many controversial things he did, he tried to be as race neutral as the ANC would allow him. Mbeki sort of tried to maintain the rainbow idea, but by this time it was clear that he will lose the battle against the triple X media machine. And on the screen, you must look, I'm giving you an explanation of what this triple X machine actually is in my mind and it is based on good information. Take a good look at it and think about it as you see it. During Mbeki's tenor, rumors of, of mutterings in the Zulu nation were beginning to turn into grunts. The Zulus were of the opinion that they, the Zulus, are being sidelined by the ANC and very few Zulus actually got serious positions in the ANC structures. Now you need to take note of something that is very important. Triple X is firmly in control of the ANC and one of the non-negotiables in the Triple X doctrine is that no Zulu or Boer must ever be allowed to lead South Africa. Let that sink in. Why is that? The British part of Triple X hates the Zulus and the Bura for the simple reason that both groups have fucked them up properly here in South Africa. They, the British, will never forget that. The same British that committed war crimes here in South Africa and treated both nations, Afrikaners and Zulus, horrendously. Then there is that rumor that the British bribed Dungan to kill Petratif. Is it just a rumor? What happened to Dungan? He fled to Swaziland and was killed there by the chiefs that were previously driven off Zulu soil by Chaka. His successor signed that momentous pact with the Bura. The one that Triple X is trying to hide from your eyes. Problem for them is that the Zulu Royal House and Zuma acknowledges that pact and have said it in public that they honor that pact. Major fucking issue for Triple X. None of the other ethnic groups ever engaged the British invaders on the battlefield. Only the Bura and the Zulus. Take note, this skid mark is not aimed at or pretending to be a recital of the history of the two nations. 
That is well documented and many really informed commentators and historians have done presentations on that topic and you can go and Google it. Another major problem for the Triple X is the existence of documented proof of agreements between the Zulus and Bura. These treaties clearly indicated the land that was granted to the Bura by the Zulu king and the land granted to the Bura by the Khoi. Both nations acknowledges the borders of the old Boer republics, that's the Khoi and the Zulus. And this, and this is a huge issue for the Triple X gang. And it is suppressed with all their might. But their problem is, Zuma is a Zulu, a tribalist, and culture is important to him. What is more important, he understands the concept of honor. Yeah, yeah, but cock yourself no ma. The Zulus, Khoi and Bura are the three primary tribes of South Africa. Now you want to dispute this statement. And that is your right. Unfortunately for you, this statement is supported by documents signed by the relevant leaders and the rulers of these three tribes. Triple X is acutely aware of it and is fighting like hell to deny the existence of this reality. And you need to pay attention to what is happening in the Khoisan tribe. There are important things that are happening and is documented and shown on the TV but hidden by MSN. You need to take note of that. Another important fact, yes, fact. To take note of is that one of the treaties signed between the successor of Dungan and the Bura included something like Article 5 of the NATO Agreement. This pact dictated that if any one of the two nations is ever attacked, the other will assist it. Think about this. That one most probably made your eyes widen. Now you can understand why the Triple X is vehemently against a Zulu or Boer leader in South Africa. That, that also, this also explains why the Triple X pet ANC sidelined the Zulus when it came to positions of power in the ANC and in government. So now you can understand why the election of Jacob Zuma was such a clusterfuck for the AXXX. And then he did the unthinkable. He actively promoted tribalism and packed Zulus into as many executive positions as possible. Think about that. This was also the time that AXXX unleashed one of their trusted weapons against any multicultural country, society in the world. Racism. Slogans like, kill the boer, kill the farmer. One settler, one bullet. White monopoly capital. We want the land. Were echoed and repeated non-stop. By the propaganda machinery of the Triple X gang. These slogans fell on the ears of a badly educated, culturally drifters, impoverished, unemployed youth and Malema trumpeted it out on every stage he could get and in every interview that MSM had with him. And Malema is a charismatic orator, never forget that. The Triple X don't select useless puppets. Racism drove wedges into our society that astounded most objective observers. You need to ask yourself, why have no international body or Western government ever spoken out about the obvious human rights violations? You can be as woke or as clever as you think you are. But you can never deny that denying a man access to the economy purely based on a race is wrong. 
don't come and goggle apartheid now. It was wrong then and it is wrong now. Only a bird brain thinks that two wrongs makes a right. And you, the militant Sosa generation, you should pay particular attention. Today you are a useful weapon for the triple X, fueling the racism fires. But tomorrow you may very quickly become cannon fodder. When the triple X puppet regime needs to prove to their masters that they still have control over the country, you will be sacrificed so that the triple X puppets can show their worth as a triple X partner. Don't believe me? Well, go and look how the triple X erased 11 million people in the Middle East. Closer to home, Marikana. Think. That's all I'm saying. Think. Now look at this from Cyril. Now you sausage generation need to be very worried. The chief triple X puppet is lining you, the cannon fodder, up for the sacrifice on the table of the triple X. Listen to his words. Therefore, I call upon you to return to the militancy of the ANC Youth League of the 1944 era, to go back to the militancy of the ANC Youth League of the 80s and 90s. We do not want to see an ANC Youth League that is docile during a revolution. Cyril Ramaphosa, 2 July 2023. And you really need to pay attention to what is this guy saying here. He is actually calling you to war. Now the question that you must ask yourself, what does President Putin think if he hears words like this? He knows this is war talk. And South Africa is a BRICS partner. The BRICS movement is trying their best to get the BRICS members to start shaking the shackles of poverty by fair trade amongst them without interference from triple X. And what does this man do? Fuel the fires of a revolution. Your problem, your social generation, you are the warriors he's talking about here. You must just understand, the black youth of 1944 and 1980 and 1990 was a fit, healthy youth. Not a youth overfed on fast food and chips and booze and gender confused. You, they is calling you up to face an enemy that is willing and able to face you. Think about that. But I guess your media saturated minds will not see the danger. But it's okay. Moses 6 verse 6 is clear. Stupid people must suffer. Think about that. <laughs> you have a major problem, actually a few. One, you are basically half orphans. Most are fatherless. Two, the fatherless state resulted in no discipline. Three, most of you have very little respect for your own culture and thus you do not really belong to a tribe. Four, you are poorly educated and possesses no skills that have any economic value. Yes, some of you have degrees, but degrees in what? Useless humanities degrees. I call it tree climbing degrees. Where are the engineers, doctors, scientists? Few and far between. This was also planned because getting those degrees, you actually need to study hard and commit your time to your studies. Getting a technical skill is also not what the triple X want because with that skill, you could actually start your business and operate independently from their grants. They don't want that. The triple X don't want that. 
because then you won't have time to cause chaos and pandemonium. And that is what you were bred for. Triple X don't like that. And you may think I'm talking shit. Look at what the ANC puppets did to the education systems. All technical schools and colleges were chap trashed. All of them. So, think. These are serious issues. By now you are deeply disturbed and most probably angry because a white boar dares to say things like this. Well, that is your right. But I suggest you go and research what the Triple X says about useless eaters. I will do a skid mark on that. Let me summarize. Triple X will do whatever is needed to keep a Zulu or Boer out of power. They fear the alliance possibility between Boer and Zulu, like hell. The local branch of Triple X has the ANC and DA totally under control and infected basically every political party of note together with the bulk of the NGOs and the so-called civil society organs. Triple X has powerful instruments at their disposal, namely the CIA. So don't be fooled with false flags. These evil warmongers willingly participated in unthinkable things. Think the Twin Towers and the Iraq WMD. So an assault on a highway is nothing if the target is a bricks toyed enemy. Paul Machetele. Now, take into consideration Jacob Zuma know of their plans and knows who are the players. Think. He has threatened many times to reveal names. Many times. You, the ordinary people, must think very carefully. Who can actually oppose and actually win this evil gang in South Africa? Is it abstract? An alliance between Zulu and Boer. Think before you just swallow your Kool-Aid. Please give me a like and a subscribe and share the thing. And on top of it all, Really think about these things. The signs are in front of our eyes, but we are blinded by bullshit. Have a great day.